It says solve for x and it gives us x m a plus n d equals m i plus x t h if you want to try it on your own. Pause it right now, because I'm going to solve it in 3, 2, 1. It wants us to solve for x, and there's an x on both sides of the equation. We got to get both x's to the same side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract x t h from both sides, and then while we're at it, this n d does not have an x. So we want to move it to the other side end. We can do that by subtracting ND from both sides. This positive ND and negative ND will cancel each other out, and the positive XTH and the negative XTH will cancel each other out, so we're left with XMA minus XTH equals MI minus ND. Now all the X's are on the same side, and every term has an X. So let's factor out that X. When we factor the X out of this first term, it's an MA minus TH that's remaining. Then we're not going to make any changes to the right-hand side. Next, to get the x all by itself, we're going to divide both sides by ma minus th. The ma minus th is on top and bottom, we'll divide each other out. And that leaves us with x equals mi minus nd over ma minus th. This is the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. Now you are smart enough to know that what does this becomes?